1845. Potato season. Ireland. Every farmer was expecting a favorable harvest this year, for the weather was good, although slightly damp. The harvest of the potatoes was very important to the Irish, because the potato was the staple diet of the average Irish farmer, and this harvest would provide their families for the rest of the year until the next harvest. Farmers were surprised to discover that most of their crops were a rotten, mushy mess. In fact, Ireland lost 50% of their yield in potatoes that year. Thinking that this was just another bad year, with no backup plan, some of the rural population starved, but everyone had hope for next year's harvest. Unfortunately, the harvest of 1846 was even more of a disaster, with more potatoes being a rotten, mushy mess than before. By this time, Ireland has lost a total of 3,500,000 quid, or $5,222,000 worth of potatoes. Realizing that this is no ordinary famine, Ireland asks its neighbors for help, and some Irish flee the country. England's government believes that Ireland should be able to survive on its own way of life, but realizing that this is a major problem, England sent 100,000 quid of corn to Ireland. Ireland, however, does not have the mills in order to grind the corn into flour, and many Irish fell ill from eating unprocessed corn corn. 1847 was the last bad harvest, and by the end of that year, the damage was already done. One quarter of the entire Irish population was gone. Two million people. One million fled, and one million dead. The question remains, what caused the potatoes to become that rotten, mushy mess? It turns out that the disease was potato blight. This disease caused by Phytophthora infestans can infect potatoes and tomatoes. The name Phytophthora infestans comes from phyto meaning plant and phthora meaning destroyer. This fungus-like protist is clear, round, and has one or two flagellum depending on its stage in development. Phytophthora infestans reproduce with spores which can travel through the air, water, and hide in the soil. These spores can then go through the cracks, lenticels, and eyes of the tuber to infect the plant. Once infected, the plant might have black or brown lesions that could grow fungus-like white spots. Environmentally speaking, Phytophthora infestans are good in the fact that they help decompose tomato and potato plants. However, they are not good for farmers raising potatoes or tomatoes because potato or tomato blight is quite difficult to deal with, especially with Phytophthora infestans now able to reproduce via conjugation. This gives the protists the ability to outsmart resistant plants and adapt a lot quicker. Potato or tomato blight can occur at any time, however are more likely during the damp and wet seasons. Potato slash tomato blight is found all around the world. Ways to prevent the disease is via planting in spots with good drainage and air movement, rotating crops every two or three years, and properly disposing of infected tubers. Now try to keep this all in mind when deciding to eat that questionable fry.